Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Welcome to another uh, training series or education series on um, Teach Me Tuesday. What I want to talk about today is a little bit of information. Let me go in here and make sure I set my phone to do not disturb. There we go. All right. Um, what I want to talk to you guys about today for um, this education series is at this um, business and personal development seminar on July 16, 2016, last month, one of the pieces of information that I was told was of great value um, dealing with understanding the components of a domain, hosting, uh, web presence, web pages, and all of this was. Um, what I was told, like I say, was a great component um, for their understanding, and I wanted to come on and do a little bit of an education series on Teach Me Tuesday about that. Um, so if you're watching this and you don't know who I am, my name is Martina Britt Yelverton. I am the God-given talent behind Family First Designs, and we are currently transitioning over to Martina Britt Yelverton, a brand new company, um, just giving a little bit of a broader range of services that are offered for someone coming into this technology driven um mindset um vehicle that's going on on the web and so what we're doing is basically just broadening some of the aspects of what it is that i know what it is that i am passionate about and putting it under one umbrella so while family first designs will be handling the bulk of the design aspect under the brand you company the consulting and the education and training will obviously come from myself, Martina Brick Yelverton, and then, of course, um, a team of people come together to help really do all the various aspects of print media, um, web design, uh, social media design, education, training, wealth building, healthy um, living, all of that good stuff for some of the aspects are what are going to be coming under a brand new company. Again, I am Martina Britt Yelverton, the guy given talent behind Family First Designs, transitioning over to Martina Britt Yelverton, a brand new company. I'm a passionist for all things knowledge, design, and education. So you can find more about me by going to Martina Britt Yelverton. Uh, dot com. You can also find coming soon um, a transition on Family First Designs. But to hop right over into the reason why we are here, one of the things that comes to me um, a lot of times is people aren't really understanding what all goes into web details regarding domain hosting, website, web pages, email maintenance, um, site security, and SEO. And what I want to talk to you about and give you a little bit of education on today in this education series is specifically about um, the first five or six of these. And number one, let's start with um, a domain. So people don't really understand that um, the domain consists of, and let me scroll down here and double check and make sure I'm saying everything I want to say for my notes. Um, understanding that a domain is like your typical home address. And most of the times we want people to understand that in utilizing a domain, you want to make sure that the domain is... Um, clear that it's clean that is short that is relevant that it is um related to your particular niche if you are not branding yourself as the individual giving the information um owner of the entity or something like that you want to make sure that you are using the correct acronyms here the dot com the dot org the dot net the dot info there are numerous um extensions that are out here but typically dot com is dot company dot org is dot organization dot net is dot network info is information there's dot edu there's dot co there i mean like i say there are a plethora of extensions but basically you want to understand that when you purchase them you um want to make sure that you're purchasing with relevancy um so let's see i of course uh prefer people to come over here to the awesome and amazing Google. Let's see if I can get this to come down and come into our little window that we're recording with. Um, we're going to talk about if you're going out here, of course, I would prefer that you go to, uh, let's see, Family First Designs, Domains. Let's see if I can get this to do what I want it to do. 
doesn't look like it's going to cooperate today so we'll just have it look right there there you go so you can see what it is that you're looking at come in here to of course create your account um, if you're trying to utilize um, searching for a new domain that you would search it in here um, and that because you're here on uh, Family First Designs this uh, particular address for that you um, are available to get um, an email and you want to make sure that you're utilizing an email address that is a domain base so I'll skip down here to the email and then we'll come back up to the hosting but in the email address you want to utilize dot info if you have someone who's just you know requesting information on your entity if they're trying to get in contact with you if they're trying to register or if you just want to have one email associated with everything and you are the brand um, it is your name that is the brand then maybe you would want to have it your name at whatever your domain address is so to give you a little bit of clarity on that familyfirstdesigns.com because it is a company is the domain that I utilize for the design services and then you're available to contact me Martina at Family First Designs is um, a way for you to understand and utilizing the extension Family First Designs here and like I say when you go over to try and locate information here you're going to domains there you go dot familyfirstdesigns.com um, and you're there to look for domains now as you see on there there are a plethora of other things the services that are offered hosting emails um, secure SL certificates web marketing reseller and more but the main purpose of coming there is to locate a domain so the hosting let's move forward the hosting would be like your land or property tax meaning you have to pay for the place that your home meaning your domain name is sitting on okay so um, great host companies like uh, GoDaddy, Bluehost, um, Gator. There are a lot of different ones that are out here. I, of course, utilize GoDaddy and I'm affiliate of GoDaddy. So um, I utilize my affiliate to host sites if that's necessary. Wix has self um, hosting. So when you build your website for free on Wix, the hosting plan um, allows for any of the items like the advertisement that's on the top and the bottom to be removed okay but basically that host would be like your land property and you can pay it annually you can pay it um, multiple years at a time totally up to you how you choose to purchase your hosting and then when you increase hosting it may include e-commerce it may include booking scheduling things like that based on how rigorous um, a visitation and um, functionality of that hosting plan you would like for it to be um, really kind of dictates how much you pay for it okay so moving on to the next one the website so your website would be like your house okay plain and simple it's gonna have all of the uh, rooms which are your web pages like the living room your home page uh, when you first walk in your kitchen your bedroom your bathrooms your closets those are gonna be like the web pages for the rooms in the house okay already discussed the email the email of course is going to be like your regular USPS mail that would come to your house that is the email that is going to come to you electronically um, for your correspondences for your web presence okay you will need maintenance whether it's weekly monthly quarterly that's kind of depending on how often you want to clean up the rooms in the house whether or not you're needing to update certain areas of the room you know like painting and things like that you may need to make certain changes to the web pages that are in the house which is the website um, when you move a little bit further into that you're talking about securities and um, um, search engine op optimization so that people actually are available to find you that gets over into things like meta tags keywords uh, descriptions titles um, things like that that are a part of building the web presence a lot of people go out to companies like your one-in-ones um, your Weebly's um, even your templated sites for like your GoDaddy's I have to be honest and they don't know that they need the additional things like your keywords and your tagging and your your um, titles and your descriptions because that is what allows an individual to Google you uh, whatever your search engine of preference is 
it that is what allows people to find you and if you don't have that information correctly um, keyed into the website you won't get found if you don't have an updating or a maintenance process going on on your domain you may not get listed high enough for an individual googling you to find you if you don't have updated information such as videos or even blog content you don't have to have a full-fledged blog right out the gate but you need to have content that is ever-changing so that each time the robots or bots come out and they kind of scan a site is the best way that I can explain it they see fresh and new content knowing that not only is the site getting visitation but this site is capturing you know the attention of those who are visiting the website so when you don't have those things then Google really doesn't rank it in um, the level of you know importance I guess is you know for lack of a better word in the way that it should be ranked so that's what I wanted to pop on today and give a little bit of information just recapping kind of quickly the domain information is like um, you know your address okay your typical home address the hosting would be like your property tax your website would be like the house the web pages would be like the rooms in the house the email would be like your USPS mail for the house your correspondence vehicle and then of course your maintenance or updating would be like keeping the site fresh new making sure that it um, is not outdated you want to make sure that you have site securities in place so that um, encrypted information on your site is separated from general public information. You want to make sure that you're using things like a search engine optimization to make sure that your ranking stays high, your information stays relevant, and you want to make sure that you have things like your descriptions, your meta tags, your keywords, and things like that in place and that they are updated as well so that the site is of importance, seen as important by Google and you want to include pertinent things like video and fresh content relevant content having frequent visitation and retention on your site so if you have questions um, please of course drop those below in the commenting area if there are things that you're interested in you're available to move forward in trying to um, grab my attention and utilize services that are offered here you are available to shoot a deposit over just ignore this information I'm grabbing um, some quick content so that I could have this up for you to see um, you want to make sure that you get in contact with me with regards to how to do your brand get your ba brand built and get yourself relevant as always you are available to grab your free download at join martina on this journey dot com and then of course if you're looking for more free resource content and an area where you may ask questions and get answers, come over to learnleadandlevelup.com, my Facebook community, and um, would be glad to have you help you out. You're available to finally um, have a look at some of my platforms. YouTube is one that has some free tips on the information you heard me speak about with um, domain description, title, keyword pointing, and all of that. You're also available to learn a little bit more about you know how to set your domain um, based email up for success. Again, my name is Martina Britt Gilberton. I am the founder behind Family First Designs, the um, gifted branding passionist behind Martina Britt Yelverton, a brand new company coming soon and I really would hope that if there are questions that you have that you follow me on one of my multiple platforms I am on LinkedIn Twitter Facebook YouTube Google Plus Periscope um, all of the diff these different areas I have Facebook lives that are like this one um, here located here Periscope live I don't do Periscope very much but I will probably you know find a way to get back to that but either way I would love to have you um, follow me definitely subscribe so that you're notified whenever a new video uh, is prompted. Um, I don't do invasive, constantly over your head, getting in contact with you, but um, just to know that you're subscribed and you would get that notification would be of a blessing to both yourself and myself. So again, hope to see you on the next Teach Me Tuesday education series. God bless. Have a great, awesome, and amazing day.